Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. As you guys well know, Hashcode has finally released SafeStrap for the Verizon Galaxy S5. This version of SafeStrap will not work on AT&T devices, although AT&T devices are currently rooted. For whatever reason, this particular version of SafeStrap is not working on AT&T devices. You'll want to be sure to check on the XDA specific thread for the AT&T device. So for those of you that are not entirely familiar with SafeStrap, basically what it does is bypasses the bootloader. Traditionally, you need an unlocked bootloader to be able to install a custom recovery like TeamWin Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery so that you can install modifications and ROMs. Uh, but with SafeStrap, you're able to basically leave your stock ROM untouched and it actually installs ROMs in an alternative place, uh, eliminating the need to have an unlocked bootloader altogether. So once again, big shout outs to Hashcode for making this possible. And also big shout outs to the developers that helped him in getting this working. Also big shout outs to Geohot for providing root so that we can have SafeStrap on this device. So with SafeStrap, we'll be able to install all kinds of TouchWiz based ROMs. No AOSP on SafeStrap uh, because we don't have kernel access, but we will be able to flash TouchWiz ROMs. Beanstown 106 is getting ready to begin to develop ROMs for this device. So we should have a slew of good TouchWiz ROMs uh, in the near future for this device. But none of that would be possible without SafeStrap. So prerequisites, you will need to be rooted via the tau root method. I have a link to the video of the method in the description for rooting this device. You'll also need to have BusyBox installed. So you can go to the Play Store and just search for BusyBox installer and you'll find JRummy's BusyBox installer. Simply go to the install button and that will install BusyBox. Okay, so it will ask for root permissions. You'll have to grant root access and then it will successfully install. Okay, other than that, you'll need to make sure that you have an external SD card installed in your phone and you wanna be sure to remove Expose Framework. Now this is just temporarily, so if you've been using Expose Framework with your current root, uh, you'll need to uninstall that and then once you have installed SafeStrap, you'll be able to go back in there and reinstall Expose Framework. So we'll go ahead and get started. Go into settings, security, and check the unknown sources box. And then we'll go back to that thread. I'll be sure to include a link to Hashcode's thread. You go all the way down to the bottom of the first post, and you'll see the download links here. I used the Crack Flasher link and was able to get that file downloaded very quickly. So once you have the file downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it, install it. Okay, once it's installed, we'll open it. Okay, we'll give it super user permission. Okay, we will agree. Uh, it's just basically saying that hash code is not responsible if you brick your device. SafeStrap is safe in theory because we're not messing with the stock system, but there are still chances that you could brick your device. So he's just saying that he's not responsible for anything that you do to your own device. So we'll go ahead and agree to that. And then we'll just click install recovery. Give that a few seconds to install. Okay, and then reboot to recovery. Okay, so once we are in SafeStrap recovery, it's gonna look familiar because it is based on TeamWin Recovery Project 2.7.1.0. And you'll see a lot of the same similarities. It is a touch-based recovery. You have boot options here. Uh, you, can create a, you can create a ROM slot and it has various sizes. So you can actually choose a custom ROM slot. This would be for flashing custom ROMs once they are available. And then the stock ROM slot, that is your current uh, stock ROM. Okay, you have options to back up your device. So this will back up everything on your device. This will back up all your data, all your app data, all your text messages, emails, call history. Uh, anything that's important on your device, you want to make sure that you do back up that stock ROM so that you're always able to return to the stock ROM when needed. You can also restore those ROMs. There's an option in there to wipe. So you can wipe all your data, cache, Dalvik cache, and then you have an install options so you can install ROMs once again once they are available. There's advanced options and then we can reboot our device. So we'll go ahead and reboot the system. Anyways guys that about wraps it up for the SafeStrap installation guide. There will be plenty more videos on SafeStrap with the S5 once more ROMs are available for this device. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at drawermotorx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.